Okay, this trip will be in EV auto mode. The heat is set to 72 with a driver priority. Temperature outside is uh, in the mid-30s. Here we go, putting it on cruise at uh, 57 miles an hour. There's good old lane departure assist telling me I'm going over the line. You can't shut that off or turn down the sensitivity. I think I have the sensitivity on a high. There we go, the engine switched on now. It's uh, going to be in warm-up mode now. It's shown by the S1A on that little green piston on the right there in the hybrid assistant app. Uh, once it gets to S2, which is about 140 degrees, uh, which you can see the temperature there on the, the left of that uh, app screen there, the little blue thing, the little blue piston. It says 55 degrees right now. Um, now, once that gets to 140, then the engine can turn off if you're stopped, but if it still needs the power, it'll, it'll keep it on. Accelerate the way it wants. So you see it got up to about 4,000 RPMs on that hill. It's about a 100-foot hill in a uh, 0.4 mile length. Also, you notice the app has a gold border around everything until the engine is warmed up to, uh, which is once it gets uh, to S3, which is 158 degrees. Uh, then the engine will be off once you're stopped or if the demand isn't, uh, isn't needed when it's using EV mode and going down a hill or coasting. Uh, there'll be another video on that later. This is just kind of my first video. See the interest. Uh, people have any questions, might have. So now you'll see we're all warmed up. We hit uh, <clears throat> S3 around that 155 degrees. And you see the engine will turn off as we go downhills is on when we go well it won't go on when we go uphills because we're actually in EV auto mode so unless it's a really high demand uh, if you were in hybrid mode then the engine would turn on a lot more and you'd actually have a little bar uh, you'll see it when we run out of electricity later kind of non-scientific uh, test of EV auto mode versus just driving in regular EV mode until the battery's dead and then using hybrid mode. Uh, I'm going to have another video coming up here where I drive this same route in the EV only mode to compare. Again, you know, not uh, purely scientific, just a little curiosity on how efficient, uh, how smart the EV auto mode is. If you know you're going to run out of juice, you know, before you're at the end of your trip. You see the engine's actually cooled down quite a bit as it, uh, it hasn't ran in some time. So it's down to 91 to 89 degrees. Um, in hybrid mode, it would, it would turn back on if you had the heat on to... Um, heat the cabin, but uh, in EV mode it actually uses a heat pump and the electricity to keep you warm so it doesn't have to turn the engine back on. So it won't turn it back on unless I really hit the gas or went up a, a large hill.
the highway. The engine should kick on on the on-way up here. Let's see what happens. So you keep seeing that clean radar sensor here. This is actually the first time I ever had this happen. It was a uh, stone, these like kind of ice pellets, and I kept trying to put on the radar, but it uh, wasn't having it because the radar sensors uh, apparently covering ice. But um, I've drove in the snow a few other times. I've never had this happen again since then either. But um, I forgot how to turn it off. Uh, I'll make another video on that later. But if you hold down the cruise control on button for about three seconds you'll see the little car go away from the thing on the right over there and uh, that's kind of how you'll turn it off it'll turn itself back on next time here, so. so here's a little screen if you press the up button on the right hand controller you'll get this little graphic showing you where the electricity is going then press up again you'll get the eco diary here which will show the percentage AC um, power and then if you click the select button you can actually scroll through it or scroll to the right and then you'll get the, a monthly breakdown of the average miles per kilowatt hour in the AC load and then if you uh, hit it one more time you'll get over to the the gas one and give your distance and your average miles per gallon for daily and then if you go over one more you'll get to monthly. Our average is 250 miles to the gallon this month, 216 last month. And then if you hit the uh, back button there, you'll go out and you can go back up again. And this drive monitor too will tell you uh, first your efficiency electricity, how many miles uh, you'd be able to travel with the uh, AC on or off. <coughs> You see this plow was trying to avoid the cop over there, so he came over my lane and I had to slow down to like 30, 37. And then you'll see we actually get up to draining 59 kilowatts here from the battery on that right top side in the blue. And the still the engine doesn't kick on even though our battery's almost dead. And then finally right there the engine kicks on. But that's because we're completely out of battery power now. So you have all these different trip meters. You can see right now I'm on the one with the car, almost 2,500 miles on it. And you got trip A here. Trip, well, I'll show you. Um, I show you them in the right screen on the dashboard there. You'll see this drive monitor. So whatever trip meter you're in is where the data is coming from. This. So this is the whole life of the car. I've driven 68 hours. An average speed of 36, and 78% uh, of that has been driving um, on electricity. And then here's trip A, which I reset last time I got fuel. So 32 hours, 38 average speed, 83% EV driving. And the thing about that is it, uh, it counts EV driving also as hybrid electric driving. So here is the, uh, since we started the car, so... You see the miles per gallon there, 104.3, 47 minutes, 39 average speed, 66% EV. So then here's the amount of gas left, and then electric left. And then over here we got the chart, which that doesn't go by the trip meter. That's just the last five miles of fuel. And if you select that middle button, then you can go through all the different ones.
I always love this portion of my drive. I drive every day because uh, quite a bit of it's EV. You see, once you get up over this hill here, that it becomes quite a bit of EV driving, even in hybrid mode. There we go. From here, it just kind of... And you see, that's that bar I was talking about way earlier. That if you go above that bar, then the engine will usually kick on. It gives you a little bit of leeway, but you know, it depends. But that's kind of your little thing. I like that from the last hybrid I had, the last uh, Prius I had, because it was it was so hard to feather the gas pedal just right, and it's nice to know exactly where you should go. There you go. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments if you got any questions or complaints or whatever. Uh, Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these. I'm going to already shot a few and I just got to edit a few. And then I plan on doing more concise ones on each different little subject too. So thanks much. Have fun. And you can see I ended the trip here with 100.3 miles to the gallon. That's combined obviously with plugging it in and getting almost 20 miles in electricity only driving. And you can see my cool little score where I scored 93 out of 100. So I have to work on my acceleration apparently.